Hi guys, welcome to a brand new decluttering video. Today we're going to be tackling the chest of drawers, which the top of the chest of drawers is a permanent dumping ground. Then we've got two drawers um, at the top. One is for hair care, one is for skin care. And then the next drawer we have got underwear and socks. And then we've got two drawers for pyjamas, which still have Christmas pyjamas in, which I need to address so yeah let's get started on this shit show okay so I'm going to start by just taking everything that isn't supposed to be on here off of here um the things that will be left are just the decorative pieces that I have sort of like on display so actually if if there are things on here that actually live in the drawers I'll just pop them in there for the minute. um so that's hair care We've got some skincare. Let's make sure everything is done up before it goes in the drawers. <laughs> um, deodorant usually just stays on top, but I'll go to it for a minute. Why? Why? Um, hair brushes, I've got a little thing on the side here. I've got four hair brushes, like, with handles. I and mean, then I've got, like, two or three tangle teasers. That's normal. Um, okay, might as well actually, oh, it's filled with hair and just gross stuff, um, bobby pins, that bobby pin is destroyed, you don't live here, you don't live here, you should live here, This is so disgusting how much hair is on here. Because I've been wearing like extensions or clip on hair pieces, wigs and stuff. There is just like long hair all over the place and it's pretty gross to be honest with you. I really need to learn to put the lid on this jar that has my cotton pads in because I never put the lid on. So I'm just guessing that there's like dust permanently on them which then goes on top of my face okay i'm going to just use an antibacterial wipe to wipe the top of this first i'm just going to push all of the hair off i'll try and get it into my bin but you never know if these things will actually work out or not oh i've taken a penguin with me stay up there mate Well, now I've got all the icky hair off of it, I'll just move the other stuff around and dust that. Let's put you on there. This is all looking pretty grim, actually. Um, this I can't even move. It seems to be stuck to the table. My little cactus friends there. Um, had a bit of an accident on this table. I didn't realise I'd knocked over my nail varnish remover and it just leaked and stained the table. So that was fun. I feel like I should clean in this candle as well because that has like got smoke and dust all over it. Gross. No one wants to light a dusty candle because you're then just effectively inhaling that. Although I really hope, this is like my favourite candle ever so I really hope it now doesn't smell like anti-back wipes when I come to light it next. Probably getting dust all over my makeup table now. Oh. Let's just move that for a sec. Oh, you've given up, haven't you? There we go. Um, what do I need to tighten to get you to stay? I can't remember. No? Uh, this is me trying to deal with technology. There we go. That's how we do it. <laughs> we'll get there in the end. Um, let me just move a few over here. And this poor lolly. Oh, it's so out of date now. My mum got me for this Christmas 2017. And I couldn't 
bring myself to eat it because I love penguins and it's now seven months out of date and I feel really bad about that. Right, <laughs> let's go back to our wiping. I really need to rub this table down again and repaint it, but it's a hell of a lot of effort. Right, now I've cleaned it, I'm going to give it a bit of a multi-surface polish. Love this stuff. Can't beat a bit of Mr. Sheen. There's so many like things on here though that are never gonna come off and so many scratches and stuff, which is sad, but it when I bought this it was just a boring brown dresser. I did like do it all myself or maybe my mum helped me, I can't remember, but so theoretically I could sort of restore it, I suppose. I mean it is supposed to be a bit shabby chic anyway, so it doesn't really matter that it's got chunks taken out of it um right so now we've got a beautiful clean base here um i am going to start putting things back that only the things that belong here though so we've got my little sunglass rack which also just houses sh stupid stuff like batteries buttons Hubba bubba bubble gum. Oh my fucking god. I've just found a memory card that I've been looking for for ages. Or was it broken? I can't remember. I don't remember if this actually worked, but I just got so excited because I thought I'd lost it. It's a 64 gig one, which is like the best. Well, not the best, but it's like amazing. Oh, I bet it's broken. I think it might have been corrupt or something, I can't remember. I'll put them to one side and I'll try them later. Yeah, and then I've got some lighters here for my candles, although... Ugh, they feel thick with dust. Ugh, ew, ew. That is gross. Um, they don't actually work, I don't think. But they're like presents, so this one's like from when my sister went to Ireland and then this one is from Paris but yeah that one definitely doesn't work I think it was dug to begin with and then this one is just useless but I keep them anyway for memento sake um and just push that up there I've got too many sunglasses even though I did have a big sunglasses clear out recently right then what do we have I'm trying to remember how I like it then I have these little coasters, which I split in half, and I just pop them there. And then we just put a candle on each one, I believe. Let's pop you there, and you there. And uh, my cotton pads, they live there. And then we've got my little cactus guys, which are pretty dusty. Let's just take a little wipe. Just give them a delicate little dust. I haven't watered these in, I don't know man, a year, maybe more, I don't remember. And then we've just got a few more odds and sods, I believe. So I think I, I don't really use either of these deodorants, but sometimes it's good to have them in here because my deodorant, I keep in the bathroom and sometimes it's just good to have a spare in here. I don't really need to keep it on here though. I suppose it could go in here. I don't really want to have deodorant out anyway. And then I've got a little room spray thing. Know, it's from the Disney store, so it smells like magic. That can sort of go in there. And then I've got a little penguin 
which I forgot to put away with my Christmas decorations, so it can just stay there until next Christmas. Right. I have also got this candle that I got for Christmas. I need to light my candles more often because I'll never get through them. If we just sort of put it out like that. Beautiful. Love that. And then I can get rid of that. And I'm going to keep my little penguin lolly. <laughs> Um, let's just pop you there. Lovely. So now we have done the top. Now we're going to tackle the drawers. So here is my skincare drawer, which I know you can't really see from over there. So is there really much point in having you over there? You might as well just have you there. I don't think anyone really realises how much of a ball ache these things are to film. Right, so I've got my drawer here. I could just take the drawer out, but I'm not going to. Right, first thing I'm going to do, I think, is just get everything out the drawer. I think that's probably the best way to assess the situation, maybe. I'm just gonna try and get this out and give it a clean I think because there's loads of hair and stuff in the bottom okay so I've ju also just grabbed some boxes and stuff um, that might make good draw dividers but we'll get to that a little bit later let's move my bin closer to me because I feel like we may be needing it right um, anything that pops out to me immediately. Um, this Delarome Paris Qu Cream Aqua Comfort, which is a, a day cream of sorts. I have been using this lately, but I've been really struggling to get any out at the minute. Like I'm really having to squeeze it. So it's pretty much all gone. So we're gonna get rid of it. Oh, I won't bin it just yet. Cause I always like to see how much I've thrown away. It makes me feel a lot better about myself. Um, Derma V10 Rescue Oil, which is basically a dupe of bio oil. Um, I don't really like oil-based products generally, so I'm just going to bin it. I only got it in Poundland anyway, so it's not like I'm wasting a lot of money. Body Shop Tea Tree Targeted Gel Stick thing. Um, this is pretty much gone now, I think. Um yeah okay yeah pretty much used all of that now so i'm gonna have to find a new spot remedy i think although that one my sister really raved about it and really liked it so she bought me one and i'm i haven't particularly vibed with it as much as she has um right what what shall i look at next um um i don't know i've got a bit of hair stuck to me Oops. Body Shop Oils of Life Intensely Revitalising Facial Oil. Um, I don't use this and I've had it for quite some time. And I've just spilled it all in my drawer that I've just cleaned. Fantastic news. That's really great. That was fun. Um, smelt kind of funky as well so um hawaiian tropic silk hydration protective sun lotion this is probably my favorite sun lotion however i've had it for quite a few years now and it does say on the back once opened used within 12 months and while there is still a lot left it is only factor 15 so i think when summer comes i will just treat myself to a new one of these i really like these because they've got a sort of shimmeriness to them um, I don't think there's actually anything wrong with it, but I don't know if sun creams stop working if you've had them for too long. But this is my favourite sun cream. I love the smell. I love everything about it. But I think I will repurchase this in the summer and get a higher factor because 15 is, for my pasty skin, it's not good. Um, next, I'm going to pick 
out. Dior Cream Correction Rides Creme uh, Ultimate Wrinkle Cream. Just a little sample. I don't really know if there's any left. There's not really any left. Oh, there's a little bit left, but not enough for me to really care about it. Um, um, I've got three of these Tropic Malibu SPFs, but I did use these a lot in the summer, and I think I will be using them a lot this summer. Hopefully they will still be okay. They're only from Poundland, but they're all Factor 50. One of them's actually an anti-aging one, um, so that's just a nice one to put on your face. So I will keep all three of them um, because only one of them or maybe two of them have been opened. I'm not really sure. Um, Loseril nail gel for discoloured or damaged nails. Um, yeah, I had a massively damaged nail. Um, but this is supposed to be discarded after eight weeks or something and I've had this for two years just in the back of my drawer for no reason goodbye um I've got a tiny tiny drop left of my uh glycolic tonic acid which I will use today and I'll either finish it today with my am skincare routine or maybe tonight with my pm skincare routine I'm not sure yet but there's only a dear, dear bit left, but after that I haven't got any uh, acid, so I will want to be using that. Um, what else? Simple Soothing Facial Toner. There's only this much left, and I don't use this anymore. I'm currently using um, some Triple Strength Rose Water as toner, and... Once I'm done with this, I'm going to be switching my skincare to the ordinary anyway. So I think I will get rid of the simple one. And so I've also got some Liz Earl Instant Boost Skin Tonic Spritzer. Which I think I will hang on to that because it feels really nice when you just give yourself a little spritz, to be honest. I am starting to see less things that I want to throw away. Oh, what's this? Absolution. It's really faded on the label, actually. Um, I don't think I ever really knew what this was for. Um, I got it in a subscription box, didn't really know how to use it, so I haven't really used it. And it does also say, once opened, used within six months. And I haven't had a subscription a, to beauty boxes in like, I don't know, two years, so bye. I like how I only adhere to those open within X amount of months things when it's something I want to throw away. I'll just ignore it on other things. Other things I'd be like, I've had this four years, but it's still great, so I ignore. Um, that's a hand cream, so that doesn't really need to be in there. This was like my favourite hand cream of all time. It's the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Hand Cream. Used to buy it in Savers for 2 99 but I don't see it in there anymore. But it's... It's a really good hand cream, so as there is still some left, I will hang on to it. Um, have got this number seven night cream, which I really like and have been using, but it is pretty much nearly gone. There's probably about two, maybe three nights worth in there still. So I don't really want to throw it away. But I do have another night cream, which has, doesn't actually have that much left in it either. But I'd rather try and finish one before starting my new skincare stuff. I don't know. I do really like this. And this is really expensive. I got it actually in a charity shop. It was brand new. Hadn't been used at all. And I looked it up the other day and they're like 25 quid a pot, which is mad. So, oh, I could, I know there's only like a little bit left, but I might ask my mum if she wants it to try it because it's hypoallergenic and she's got really sensitive skin. So if she gets on with it, she might want to treat herself to a new one. Um, here I've got two Savlons. 
Cerisavlon antiseptic creams, which are used to put on cuts and stuff like that. I read an article that said, while we don't recommend using this under your eyes, people have said that it gets rid of dark circles like that, like three days or something, it will get rid of them. Um, but <laughs> I had, I used it and then I had a really, really sore eye the next day. So I'm a bit scared to use it again. And I've just seen that it goes out of date in February of this year. Um, and I've got two boxes because <laughs> it was cheaper to buy two for some reason. But um, I don't know. I'll go put that one in the first aid kit downstairs. And it feels so wasteful to bin it. But I'm a bit too scared to put it under my eyes again because they got really sore. I don't know if it's because, one, you're just not supposed to put it under there. Two, because I have sensitive skin. I'm not sure if I have sensitive skin because sometimes my skin's fine. But I do have a lot of milia around my eyes, which are little white spots of... I can't remember what's in them. But they're really hard to get rid Like, you can't get rid of them pretty much without having them, like... What would be the word? Like, you couldn't get rid of them with a cream or anything like that. You have to go to a person and have them actually, like, dealt with. Um, so maybe it irritated them. I don't really know. But I don't know what to do with that. Should I just throw it away <laughs> and just keep the one I haven't opened? I've literally used that once. It's so hideously wasteful. Anyway, God, I babble so much. And anyone that sits through this, you're an actual legend. Um, everything else I'm looking at, I do use. Um, there's a couple of lip balms here that I'm probably never going to get around to using. But I really like this one because it says lip shit on it. So I'm going to keep the lip shit one. I'm going to get rid of that one. Um, I've got this little facelifting cream. But I'm not sure what kind of cream it is. My mum gave it to me. It's from Avon. And it's lift and firm. I don't know if this is... A day cream, an anti-wrinkle cream. I've got no idea what it is. But um, anyway, everything I'm looking at right now, I use pretty much on the daily, give or take. Oh, I've got a few masks here, actually. What's this? Rod Rodeal? Rodile? I don't know. I'm not up with the makeup brands. Um, exclusive Dragon's Blood Eye and Lip Mask Set Mask Addict. Hydrate and Tone, Moisture Rich Plumping Bio Cellu Cellulose Lip Mask, I've never heard of a lip mask, and Dragon's Blood Eye Mask, Deep Puffing Bio Cellulose Eye Mask, Patches, oh no, that's French. <laughs> um, okay. Still in date, goes out of date November this year, so that's good. We'll keep that, but I'm going to take it out of its little weird envelope. And then we've also got here, that's a bit sticky. Something's obviously leaked on that at some point. When travel mate. Oh, that's actually really sticky. Something has majorly leaked on that in its lifetime. I've had this for a long time because I think I got this from a subscription box. Because it's supposed to be for like when you travel, which I don't do. So I sort of just haven't used it because I'm like, maybe one day I'll travel somewhere. Um, which, you know, probably isn't ever going to happen. <laughs> but that's went out of date in June of 2017. So if I've had it for that long I, and not used it, then, oh my God, you're supposed to leave it on for 30 minutes anyway. Fuck that. No way, mate. See you later. And then this I got for Christmas and... I don't know when I'm supposed to use this, like what part of my routine, but I obviously just got it for Christmas, so I'm keeping it. Um, under eye mask with collagen and green tea. So we've got a few little maskies there, and okay, a few other random bits. I've got some razor blades here. These came with, years ago, my sister bought me a hair thinning razor thing and it had some spare blades, but I don't have the razor anymore. 
so yeah I do not need extra blades for a product I no longer have in my life I've also got a little badge here for oh my god it's absolutely rank on the back look at that that's what happens if you put something random like that in your skincare drawer um this is from stand up central when I went to see Russell Howard's tv show stand up central um but that doesn't need to live in my skincare drawer that can go in my memory box um so i am left with how many products am i getting rid of one oh no you're in the wrong bit you need to come back over here don't scare me like that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve i'm getting rid of 13 14 things i don't think i've thrown away more than i'm keeping unfortunately one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one. Damn it. But while I haven't got rid of as much as I thought I was going to, this will be going today. And a few other things will be going soon. So it's fine. Right, I think now I will get this out and let's try and see what kind of divider situation i want to have in here i've got like this box which i did want to keep this for other things because it's really pretty and you can sort of see through it but um i could do that and then that doesn't fit i could do it like that nope yeah i was keeping these like to put things in that i've sold but uh didn't happen we could do that's annoying I wish they would fit like that could do that that could do like daytime nighttime assortment of stuff however some stuff I use for both I'm not sure if I actually need some dividers but it might just look cuter let's see fit anyway so you might as well come out um could you like creams in one liquids in another maybe let's see how that goes um although liquids aren't going to fit in any of these i don't really like i don't know what i'm doing I don't want to have dividers unless they're like sort of all the same, I think, but I'll do that, I suppose. Okay, so let's just put anything here that is definitely not going to fit in a little box, which I think is actually just that stuff. But we could just keep liquids stuff out anyway. Um, and then let's put little masky bits at this bit here beautiful stuff i use every day in this one eye cream and i don't use you i use you most days actually probably use you every day And then this box here, we will just put the things in that I don't use every day. Because I don't need Factor 50 on my face every day. Most of the time I leave the house at half four in the evening and it's dark already. So. Not 
show how I feel about this. reason I have a pencil sharpener in there and if you watched my makeup decluttering you'll know that I already had four pencil sharpeners in my makeup collection I now only have one and I still have one once I throw this away so that is my makeup drawer done which I am actually kind of loving how that looks which is great next is hair care but I think I want to go get some toast before I get into hair care because this is already going to be so long. I think this is going to be put into two parts, actually, because I'm already feeling that this is hella, hella long. Okay, hey, I'm back from my toast break. Hopefully I don't have crumbs all around my gob. And I'm just enjoying a nice little cup of tea. And we're about to do hair care. I actually find it quite hard to get rid of hair care products because I don't know why I do. I don't know why. Same premise as before, just going to get everything out first and let's adjust this because we don't need any of that space behind me. So let's just get everything out. And loads and loads of hair comes with it all as well, which is just lovely. Oh shit. So many blonde bobby pins which aren't really any good to me anymore because only like 10% of my hair is blonde so yeah it's actually really massively unhelpful nevertheless we will hang on to our pins I don't know what's wrong with me. I have special little pots to put bobby pins in, yet yeah, I just chuck them in the drawer. Nice one, Hannah. Right, that's it for me pins. Okay. I've just got a couple of elastic bands in there that I really cannot be bothered to If I could be bothered, I would put some sticky back plastic in the base of this so it has an easier to clean surface. But do I look like someone that can be, that can be bothered to do that? Nope. Right. Let's chuck some stuff away. I do use quite a bit of this though on the regulars. So I've got two for some reason. To Percy and Reed, volumizing no oil oil for fine hair. Oh, hang on. This one is for fine hair that I've used the most of, and then this one is new and I've not used it. Um, I've actually got a little pot of makeup, a little box of makeup that I haven't used. Um, Work one to two drops through towel dried hair, smoothing from root to tip. Use more as required for long or thick hair dry as desired. Um, I don't know whether to keep this because my hair ha is lacking fullness lately. Um, I'm gonna offer this one to my mum because my mum has fine hair. However, she's not much of a product person. She doesn't even condition her hair. 
she's got lovely soft hair but she doesn't condition it because she's like my hair's already nice and soft so I don't need to, need to condition it and I'm like please condition your hair it hurts my soul um so yeah I think I might start using this offer this one to my mum um so that's effectively if, more, if my mum says no then I'll just bin this one and use the new one so um yeah um what have we got here hairy jane handmade hair handmade hair care perfume with heat protection citrus I think that smells slightly like it's gone off and it did go January 2017 that was when it expired or when it's best before was so oops I'm so good at using products what next Philip Kingsley polishing balm this is disgusting looking I don't know if you even really saw how rank that was but Seriously smooth, frizz-free styling balm. I'm going to get rid of it. It doesn't feel like there's a lot left in there anyway. Next we've got Parlour by Jeff Chastain Shampoo, which I don't think I've used, but I've had it for a really long time. Um, I'm going to go put this in my travel bag because it would be a good one for travelling with. So i pop you there. Well, technically I am keeping it, so I shouldn't take it out of the equation just yet. Straight Fast Straightening Elixir. Ultimate hair straightening elixir, superior smoothing, soothing, straightening formula, yada, yada, yada. Um, I don't use this, and as you can see, I haven't really used this. I might have tried it once, but um, I'll offer that to my mum, because she always wears her hair straight. I've got to get my mum into using products, you know. Maybe if I offer to do her hair more, and she can see the results, and she'll be more inclined Tresemme Perfectly Undone Wave Creating Sea Foam. So basically a mousse. Um, I don't really use this, however, it is good to have a mousse sort of in your collection because you never know when you might need a mousse. Maybe you're following a tutorial and they use a mousse and you're like, dang it, I don't have a mousse. But if I keep this, then I'll have a mousse. Um, I love this. There's literally the tiniest drop left, but it won't actually come out anymore. So I'm going to have to get rid of it. But I fucking love this. It was insane. Someone used it on me in a salon once. It's the Redken Pillow Proof Blow Dry Express Primer. And the girl was blow drying my hair and she was like, we're never going to get this done because my hair just retains water really badly. So she whipped this little product out and she got it dried so much quicker. Um... It was amazing, I loved it. I think it might have been discontinued, either that or it's hideously expensive. I'm not sure. I did find a pretty good replacement though in the Schwarzkopf Got To Be Mind Blowing Express Dry Styling Spray. That's really good. I've only got that much left though, so I will need to buy another one of these. But yeah, if you've got thick hair and it takes ages to, ages to dry, definitely recommend either the Red Ken one or this one. This one's about 2 99 in savers, I think, so. This one is a lot more uh, cost effective. Right, we've got a salt spray, that's good to have. We've got this argan oil, weightless dry oil. I do use this. Um, this was this was six ninety nine. and I bought it in Tesco reduced to £3.50 and it was only reduced because like the lid had been taken off and someone had sprayed it and that was it. But this label is really annoying me all the time, so I'm just going to take it off. Um, yeah, looking at all this other stuff, I pretty much use everything else. I'm starting to feel like I'm getting a cold, guys. But I feel like if I use it, there's no point in throwing it, wet, throwing it away just for the sake of the video. Because um, I literally... I either use these or they're a good thing to have around like I don't often use this anti-frizz serum but I definitely should I just remembered I've got a little product over here that needs to go in that over there oh my no there's another hair product on the floor as well that's what happens when you film a hair tutorial on your bedroom floor you do actually use all of this this gets a little bit leaky but I do like it however 
oh yeah I did really like this but I haven't used it in quite a long time and there are other products I've been using because I like them more and this one does get leaky so I think I'll I think I'll get rid of it right yeah I'm pretty sure all of this now is stuff I want to keep so that's cool um something that's not cool is the fact that I've just put all of this in here and I actually need to use this so I just remembered I have a whole box of other random assorted hair care body care items as well which I should probably address oh dear oh dear indeed right so there's the two deodorants I discarded earlier that's my big fat hairspray which I don't I don't use hairspray a lot so I don't need it in that drawer that is a backup of one of those because I love it so much and they stopped selling it in Poundland so I bought like the last one then we've got more dry shampoo. This is sort of just like stuff that I'll use when other things run out. So like when that runs out, I'll then move other things into the drawer, I suppose. Um, although I'm going to get rid of that. That's the Tresemme Two Sword Wave Spray because I've got a different sea salt spray, sea salt spray that I like better. Something in here is leaked. Who's the culprit? Who is the culprit? Um, more dry shampoo. More hair brushes. It's totally normal. Miniature dry shampoo. I'm going to put that in my travelling stuff as well. A little mini dry shampoo. That's it, I think, for hair stuff in here. Yeah, I'm keeping these things, so they might as well just go back in. But hey, I found another product to throw away in that little side note, so that's cool. Right, if I'd like this better in here, or not. Let's sort of, I wish I had another little one of these somewhere. I probably do have one somewhere, but... I've wouldn't know where to look for it so I think this had little bits in so like little thingy my bobs um, your little I know I said I was going to throw away this uh, pencil sharpener, but it perfectly fits this hair crayon. Um, so that means I wouldn't have to use this on something that I use like eye or lip crayons in. So I'm actually going to hang on to that. Sorry. Um, just saved it from the bin. Right. Um, you can go in here. Sort of shit that I use a lot can go near the top. And then we will use, I think I've probably got hair care stuff on my shelf in the bathroom as well, but we're just going to ignore that for the time being. You know what, I might actually be able to fit that big fat hairspray in here. It's amazing what just throwing a few products away, how much space that can give you. Because I can now get, I've now got all of this room here, so I can get that big fat hairspray in here. And my dry shampoo. This is 
in here we've what have we got in here hair bands i think little elastics i'm not gonna open it um yeah, little elastics two tins of bobby pins my hair drawer now finished which makes me feel very pleased about life apart until that all slides out that's a bit annoying do. and then they can go in the travel bag and that is that for the top of my makeup table which now has stuff on it so I'm gonna have to re tidy and clean that and um yeah, that's it for my skin and hair care drawers. Because this went on a lot longer than I anticipated it to, I will film uh, these three drawers in a separate video. So um, we'll do a couple of befores and afters. today i hope you guys enjoyed part three of my decluttering series and i hope it's really motivating you to get your life together sort some stuff out throw some shit away and yeah i really hope you're enjoying it please give the video a thumbs up if you are enjoying it subscribe if you're new here for more decluttering videos and i will see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>